Farthest lake on the on the Butler chain here, and it's over. It's called Lake Down. Okay. And there's usually some really good action over there in the morning, and that's why we're gonna head over there first thing because these big fish don't seem to like to wake up until a little later on. So it'll take a you know it might take a little while to get them to wake up a little bit. Okay. We're gonna start out fishing. I mean, but it's not. Trust me, I've had people catch four or five pounders. Oh here yeah. On well, this this is land of biggins. It's like pulling in livestock sometimes you can out catch here. So down here yeah. So. No, nope, it's going to be a fun ride. Beautiful day. Thanks for taking me out. And well, let's catch a few fish. Let's, let's do it. Good blow up. Just keep your rod up. I think he's going to want to dive down on the grass. So bigger than what I thought he was when I. When I, when I he's stuck him. good. He's been he's been real good. Yeah, when he came up and grabbed it, I just see his mouth come on. Did you see a blow <laughs> Yeah, up? I saw the blow up. That was good. He was, he was a lot bigger than what. Or he looked bigger than what he was when he did it. I was like. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say. No, you're good. I love top water fishing. Top water is awesome. But you said the first 30 minutes is going to be a little. It's going to, yeah, I knew it was going to be a little tough. To be yeah. Once they get a little bit, a little bit of sun underneath of them, they're kind of like us. They takes a little bit of while. These fish, these fish are very, very warm weather, relatively warm weather fish. I mean, you go out to Toho on a day like today, you're going to be lucky to catch two or three fish because. It yeah. Other guys know it too. Yeah. There you go. Did you want any pictures? Nah. And there's some bigger stuff in here too, but I'm sure the shad get pretty big in here, out here too. Wild shiners down here, they'll get eight to nine, sometimes ten inches long. And when I guide with those wild shiners, yeah. and put them on, it's like throwing a tilapia on them. <laughs> yeah. And I've watched guys, they'll get a bite and they, they just won't look up. Yeah. A lot of times with the smaller bass trying to eat the wild ones and they can't, they're the yeah. and threes. And then all of a sudden you'll, you'll they'll load up the rod and it'll be a giant. Nice. Because it just and I tell them when you get a fish on a shiner and we're trolling. I said, can you feel that bite? I said, take that rod, let them take it all the way back to tw you know twelve o'clock or six o'clock, all the way back to the back. And I said, then hammer. Yeah. I said because it takes a while when when they eat that shiner, they'll suck it in. Tail yeah. First, they'll actually spin that shiner completely around in their mouth and they'll eat it head first. Oh wow. But otherwise. If they try to swallow a tail first, they get the gills, they get the fin stuck, their dorsal fin stuck in their throat, and they can't yeah. get them down. Yeah. That wasn't a big one that I just seen, but it was a fish right here.
Yep. He's not big. Yeah, probably the same little one I see. I'll take it. Take them all day. Decent hook set. Yeah. Right where it's supposed to be. No pictures necessary, but I you will sure? show them to the camera. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, he's what, 11, maybe 11, 12 inches. Yeah, but he's... I'll make him look giant. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand. I'm my, not only, my folks know I'm the difference. Not only, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm not only your. your I mean, we still might get on and down through here. But no, and, and we're joking. We're, you know, it, it's. When you have a grind day like we're having yeah, today, yeah, and, and you can't, there's nothing you can't miss, you know, you can't really make up for it. There's no excuses. It's not anything that we're doing wrong, per se. It's just the way that it is. But when you get a fish, high yeah, high pressure bluebirds, you know, you, you, you tend to, I'm going to hang on to this little guy for a second and just uh, show you how pretty these Florida bass are. And we want to see his big brother. So go back, get bigger, tell your mama. Thanks for coming. Do you have any idea how many personal appointments I've blown to be fishing? <laughs> Probably as many as you have. <laughs> yep. Feels a little better. Yeah, that's giving me some tugs. Come on, fish. It's wa it definitely wants to stay down. Just keep the pressure on him. He's got a pile of grass with him. Yeah, he's he's a lettuce fish. Yeah, it's a little little, little quiet. It's it's the lettuce on him. He's co he's cookie cutter, but that's okay. We'll take him. Found found a couple fish. Lettuce. Set the hook on one, and I hear that drag rip off the tail. Yeah, because I, yeah, because I know how tight your drag set too. You oh, I'll get that oh, you're good. That's one nice thing about having a guide. I don't have to do everything myself, so that's fantastic. Appreciate it, Justin. Here's another little guy. Um, finally, the bite's starting to turn on. We're in a pretty decent grass flat out here, so just. Uh, had to slow the presentation way down. The top water's worked on a couple. Justin's been able to connect this morning on a Sammy 100. Um, decent bites when he got them. Blow-ups are always fun. Um, I am not as proficient with that as he is. He works them very well, but the Sammy's pretty easy to use. But I'm back on my confidence bait, and here they come. So, absolutely worth every penny. Yeah, just and they'll come up and grab it because they're just. I think the like you said, I honestly do fish with that high pressure and other rock. Yep. He's little. Yeah, he's a little guy. He's not huge. He's grass. Yeah, tree pounder. <laughs> when you said the hook, I heard the drag go a little bit. I'm like, eh, he like, might be bigger than what you think. No. Nah, I can I can surf him back. But, uh, yeah, I can give you the number. Too. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna flip him up. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to know. Right up here. Here, I want you to throw. Take that sink on one cut while I'm taking this one off. See those little. Go up front. Little, okay. Good. Right, I am. He's trying to wrap me. All right, reel, reel, reel. Take your time. Reel. Can you still feel him on there? Uh, I can't tell. I don't think so. I think you're yeah. He was good. Bit. I'm bit. It's not huge, but he was right, right where you said it would be. 
Yeah, he's not coming off. He's pinned good. Big, but nah, it's, I knew he wasn't. I, as soon as he bit, I knew he wasn't. That's it's our curse today. This is the way it's going to be. Yeah, I'm just get him up. He's a little guy. That's all right. Yeah. Right in the top, so perfect. Yeah. Yep. Little fella. God, they're so pretty, though. Look at the gold on top of him. This absolutely beautiful bass. All right, little guy. See ya. Diversity. I mean, you got shrimp grass here, eel grass, but bladed grass is eel grass, shrimp grass, and gorilla. You got three different kinds of grasses mixed in. Yeah. And it's absolutely amazing with all the different, you know, grasses that they offer, and that's what makes this place such a great fishery. 